Hi, Purpose Partner. Welcome to another episode of Rise to Your Purpose, a personal and spiritual development podcast for female entrepreneurs with a mission. We are your hosts, Brandy and Natalie. We are founders of Victorious Entrepreneurs Rising, where we guide women to build profitable businesses online through diversifying your income, using kingdom principles in marketing, and operating in a spirit of rest so that you can create kingdom impact. After this episode, be sure to join our Purpose Partner Facebook community and get your copy of our Rise to Your Purpose devotional so we can continue to serve you as we partner together in our faith and business. Let's dive into today's episode. Hey, friends of Purpose Partners. I hope you guys are having a great day. I am really excited to just ask this question that's kind of, I've been meditating on it for a while, and it's what if seeking and pursuing time freedom and financial freedom is really just a scheme from the enemy to keep us distracted from the freedom that God truly wants to give us. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. For those of you new, welcome. My name is Brandy Thomas. I'm one of the founders of Victorious Entrepreneurs Rising, along with my sister, Natalie Lassen, and we have just a heart for helping the mission-driven entrepreneur build a profitable business online that creates kingdom impact, but do it while operating from a spirit of rest. So I have just been pondering, if you guys have been following me, like I have had just some real spiritual breakthroughs the last few weeks and just like chains falling off of me. And it kind of got me to thinking like, what if we sought spiritual freedom instead of financial freedom and time freedom. And I I specifically am talking about financial freedom and time freedom because as an entrepreneur, there is this, um, right, this like story out there that you become an entrepreneur, you join this network marketing business, you build your own business for the time freedom and the financial freedom. And that's like what we're pursuing, right? Is that dream of financial freedom and, and time freedom. And none of those Neither one of those are bad in itself, right? But what if this pursuit in the marketplace for financial freedom and time freedom is just another scheme from the enemy to keep us distracted and off course from the true freedom that God ultimately wants us to experience? And that is just spiritual freedom in him, just like freedom in our spirits where there's no more strongholds from the enemy, where we are aligned and one with our father in heaven. And we are just truly seeking him and being obedient to where he's calling us. And that is our pursuit. And the scripture in Matthew chapter six thirty three just kept speaking to me and coming into my spirit where it says, Jesus says, but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well. And that is, is right beneath the the scripture passage where it talks about do not worry so like all of these things do not worry about what you're going to eat what you're going to drink about your body your health your clothes your life the pagans run after these things that was huge right the pagans run after these things god is our master provider the heavenly father knows what you need so therefore do not worry about tomorrow And then it goes down further into Matthew 7, verse 7, and it says, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives. He who seeks, finds. And to him who knocks, the door will be opened. And then it goes on to talk about how, like, our Father gives good gifts. Um, But narrow are the gates, right? Like, his way is going to be a, like, a narrow way right? There's just like one way to get to, to that door to knock, to seek him. It's, and it's seek first the kingdom of God. And then by seeking God, we will bear fruit. And I think that fruit is going to encompass that financial freedom and that time freedom and having abundance in all areas of our life. But what if we are as Christian entrepreneurs being deceived and being run off course by seeking these worldly desires or worldly narratives that, oh, to be successful, we need time freedom and we need financial freedom. And that's what um, that's what success looks like, right? Well, I don't know about you, but how many entrepreneurs do you know that actually work more than they did in their corporate job or they're busier now? Like I feel busier now 
as an entrepreneur and as a full-time mom than I ever, I was like, how did I build a business? How did I have a baby work full-time work out? Like, how did I even do all that stuff? Cause I feel like since I got rid of my full-time job, I am more busier now than before. And, but yes, it is on my schedule. It is on my, um, like I, I do have the time freedom to basically pick and choose how I want my day to flow. So, but I think there is something here and this is more for you to go back and ponder and meditate on and pray on, um, in your quiet time with the Lord, what does this look like for you? And I, I just want us to kind of think and, and kind of just like be aware, are we putting that time freedom and that financial freedom, that pursuit of those things as an entrepreneur, are we creating an idol out of those things? when all we really have to do is seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and then all these other things are going to be added to us. So if we just continuously seek God, keep our eye on him, we're going to be provided for. And every sense of the word, we're going to have abundance. We're going to have the fruit of the spirit and have all that God wants to give us. Like he is a good father. And he gives good gifts to his children, but it is a relationship, right? And we do have to be obedient to him. And so this is just something that I wanted to speak to you guys about, to this community, as we are partnering together in our faith and business. Are we truly seeking God in our businesses and truly seeking to partner with him? Or are we just saying, hey, God, I want to partner with you, but then we go off and do our own agenda and we go about our daily method of operations with, you know, with what our upline told, told us to do or what our mentor or this new strategy we're following told us to do. Or are we truly seeking God's wisdom, seeking his guidance, his direction, and then going out and just being obedient and walking in obedience in the direction that he's calling us, even if some of it may be unique, even if some of it may be a little unknown to us or foreign to us. And I, you guys, if you follow me long enough, you know, I love the story of Peter walking on water because right before that, right, Jesus sought the Lord. He went to God, his father, for his wisdom, for his strength, for his next steps and for his renewal. And while Jesus was doing that, he stole away to a secret place. His disciples were rowing on the water for hours and they were already out in the middle of, of the body of water that they were in. And Jesus catches up to them. He catches up to them. So he gets there in, in a unique way because, right, he's walking on water. But then he also gets there in an accelerated way. And then Peter, who seeks Jesus, who keeps his eye on him, he's able to do the same thing that Jesus is doing, which is walk on water. And it's only when he starts to get distracted by these other things, right? The waves and the wind, these other agendas or narratives or lies from the enemy that he begins to sink in the water. And so this asks, this just like makes me ponder, right? Like, okay, if we're truly partnering with God in our faith and business, and we're building these, these businesses that are going to create kingdom impact, then shouldn't our only goal is to be to pursue Jesus and to pursue that spiritual freedom in in him and and receive all of what that means receive the healing in our spirits receive the healing in our bodies receive the healing in our minds renew our minds um break chains from generational curses and bonds break so soul, soul ties that are holding us back like that's the true freedom we should be seeking and once we're free from all of that junk that the enemy wants us to hold on to to carry to walk with, to keep us stuck and trapped in our overwhelm and in our downward spiral of thoughts and in our negative bad habits, then we'll actually break free from all of that by seeking God first. And by seeking God first, by default, right? He's going to provide what we need. Is everything going to be easy? No, he doesn't promise us like every day is going to be easy. 
but he does promise to provide and take care of us and comfort us and protect us. And that's going to show up in different forms and in different, in different ways. So be on the lookout of that. But I just, you know, I would love to know, like, what are you guys, as I speak this out, like what's coming up for you? Are you feeling some like resistance? Because I'm saying maybe we shouldn't be seeking financial and, and um, time freedom, that we should be seeking spiritual freedom. Like, do you have any conflict coming up for you when I say that? Because I'm, I'm like twisting or changing the narrative from a worldly narrative to a biblical narrative. Um, what's coming up for you for that? Are you in agreement with this? And like, oh yeah, maybe I have been putting this, creating this, you know, thing over here and as an idol when all I really need to do is if God has called you, here's another thing that like God has spoken to me, like if God has called me into the marketplace and I'm seeking him with my business and I'm seeking him with my heart and he's breaking these chains, these spiritual chains off of me. And I now have spiritual freedom and I'm now free to be obedient and truly walk and hear his voice and just walk with him. Then if my business is for his kingdom impact, will he not protect it? Will he not provide for it? Will he not bear good fruit with it? And the time freedom and the financial freedom will just by default be given. So that is, that's just like, I think I'm going to start calling these Tuesdays Transformation Tuesday as just like, I, since Chrissy left, we've been trying to figure out like, my, do we want to do Mondays or Tuesday trainings? And I think I'm going to start calling this Transformation Tuesday. I was toying with Teachable Tuesday, but I think Transformation Tuesday because we're going to be flipping, you know, I want to talk about taking these worldly strategies and principles and comparing to them to our biblical principles and strategies and transform from our flesh into our spiritual desires and align with, with what our spirit is calling us, what the Holy Spirit is telling us to do, what God's telling us to do and transform by the renewing of our mind, transform by dying and cutting loose fleshly desires and lies that have held us back and be transformed into who God is actually calling us to be into his way of thinking to his way of being and doing. And it's going to look different and you will transform. But that's what has been on my heart. That's what I've been meditating on. And I don't know about you, but there's definitely a lot of peace when I think about if I just seek God first and I receive my spiritual freedom and I receive freedom from all the, the lies, the, the burdens, the chains that the enemy has tried to wrap me in for years. And I receive breakthroughs from that. And then I just continuously hear God, be obedient to where he's calling me and just receive, being a posture of surrender to receive by default, the time freedom, the financial freedom, all the other types of freedoms will come. So that's my thought for Transformation Tuesday. I would love to hear in the comments what is coming up for you, what thoughts um, were spoken to you in your spirit as I was speaking on this topic. Do you have anything to add that maybe I haven't, you know, been given yet a different perspective? Um, and let's have a dialogue about this. So anyway, you guys, I love you. I wish you blessing and favor over your life and business. And um, we'll see you on Thursday for our training on Thursday. Thank you so much for listening to today's episode. We would love to hear from you. So please share your takeaways by tagging at live victorious over on Instagram and leave a review. This will help us get more visibility and reach more women like you for the kingdom. We appreciate you and are praying for you as you shine your light in the business world and rise to your purpose.